Let's talk about a business tax saving strategy called cost segregation that would allow accelerated depreciation of certain components within a building. Cost segregation is a commonly used tax planning strategy that allows companies and individuals who have constructed, purchased, expanded, or remodeled real estate to increase cash flow by accelerating depreciation deductions and deferring federal and state income taxes. When you purchase a building, you typically purchase the whole asset, a building and the land. Land is never depreciable, but a cost segregation study can be performed to identify other classes of assets within the building. For this strategy to be effective, the building must have been owned for a relatively short period of time. Real property is not expensed in the year that it is purchased. Instead, it is considered a long-term asset and is depreciated over its useful life. This is 27 and a half years for residential real property and 39 years for commercial real property. This means that on a $1 million commercial property, you would only be able to take $25,641 per year in depreciation. If kept for the full 39 years, the entire $1 million in this example would eventually depreciate and be expensed. However, it is generally considered more valuable to take the expense today rather than later. Cost segregation may allow you to do just that with the real property. The overall reclassification of assets to short life property commonly ranges between 10% and 40% of the depreciable cost basis based on the property type. An office building or apartment property will usually have more short life property than a warehouse building. For example, personal property items like carpet, light fixtures, kitchen appliances, landscaping, driveways, sidewalks, decks, and more have shorter class lives, 5, 7, and 15 years. These shorter asset classes can use accelerated depreciation and may also qualify for treatment under bonus depreciation in Section 179. Compared to straight line depreciation at 27 and a half or 39 years on the building, a cost segregation study can create significant tax savings in the earlier years of the ownership of the building. Properties with values greater than 500,000 will need a cost segregation study completed by an engineering consulting firm that specializes in preparing the studies. Software may be available for cost segregation studies on residential rental properties valued at 500,000 or less. The cost segregation study will not increase the overall depreciation that can be taken on the building, just accelerate depreciation in the first years of ownership. This means that depreciation in later years will be less. When short life assets found in a cost segregation study are sold, they may be subject to depreciation recapture at the taxpayer's ordinary income tax rate instead of the capital gain tax rate. However, recapture becomes less of a concern the longer the taxpayer holds the asset. The benefits of cost segregation often outweigh the additional tax from recapture when the taxpayer holds the property for greater than three to five years.